Hi, I'm Rachel Lovell with Rachel Lovell Astrology and today I'm going to be talking about Saturn through the 12 houses. Saturn takes about 29.5 years to orbit the Sun. That's about 2.5 years in each house. Um, Saturn is associated with Kronos and in ancient astrology Saturn is associated with both Aquarius and Capricorn. Saturn represents restriction, obstacles, limitations, oppositions. Um, in the zodiac, Saturn is across from Leo and Cancer, represented by the sun and the moon, and are the luminaries. Um, Saturn is discipline, depression, decay, death. Um, I think I said obstacles and blockages, big time blockages. <laughs> and he is the lord of karma. Saturn is also the timekeeper, and uh, that's what Kronos was, the god of time. Um, he is our greatest teacher. Saturn, I would like to invite you to look at Saturn as a teacher, as opposed to what he gets a bad rap for. Um, his transits tend to be quite difficult, especially on the angles um, and the eighth house, but um, the transits they do tend to be hard, but I really want to invite you to look at Saturn as one of the greatest teachers that we have, one of the biggest soul's evolution that you're going to experience. Saturn, um, Saturn builds brand new foundations. Saturn leaves many gifts at the end um, of his transit, at least from my experience and what I've, from what I've seen. Um, you know, wherever Saturn's transiting, um, whether it be in friendships, money, um, uh, joint finance, or um, higher education, you know, whichever house he's going in, if there are blocks or if there are if there are holes in these situations, in these themes of your life, Saturn comes in and he forces a spotlight on it and he forces you to re restructure these areas of your life. So if he goes into the house of friendships and you have, um, you know, friendships that are no longer serving you, you're probably going to um, see the end to those friendships or and, and, and get new friendships, friendships that, um, that are healthy for you and that um, help you. Uh, same with relationships, same thing. Um, if he goes into the house of finance or joint finance and, and you know, this area needs mad restructuring, by the end of that transit, you're going to be in a completely new place where it comes to finances and joint finance. Um, so I, I really, when I look at Saturn, I look at him like, not just the teacher, not just, and not the favorite teacher, like not the grade two teacher that you go in, he's just like rainbows and butterflies and you know, you, you just love being in his class. It's not that teacher, no, no. He is the college professor that you go in, it's very serious. It's a very serious tone. And you know, there's no goofing around in the class. But when you finish that class, when you leave, you have a brand new understanding that is bulletproof, solid foundation on whatever it is that you are learning from him. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go through all of the houses and um, this is my first series. I was really drawn to do Saturn. I'm very drawn to Saturn. Um, the biggest changes in my life have come through my Saturn transits. They have been you know, they've restructured me as a person and, you know, he is the Lord of Karma and, you know, paying back Karma is, um, it, it's not easy, but there's freedom in that. You know, there is so much freedom in, in paying off Karma and, and paying our dues and, um, and building solid foundations in all areas of our life. So, you know, I, I find Saturn or I think of Saturn as a blessing. Um, I'm sure he's not done with me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and go through the 12 houses. If you don't know what house Saturn is, you're going to go by your rising sign 
and you can find that on astro-seek.com you can go ahead and find your rising sign and you know if you drop a comment below i can let you know which house uh, saturn is transiting in your chart and uh that's it have a wonderful day all right saturn transiting the ninth house congratulations you have made it through the eighth um, that was a difficult transit mo more than likely um it is a house of karma you're moving into a house of dharma um you know, it's the the eighth house was a cocooning stage, and you have had your phoenix rising moment. You have emerged the beautiful butterfly. Um, you have slayed the dragon. So this, you are now entering into what ancient astrologers called the house of God. Um, it's the joy of the sun. So if you do have uh, the, your sun in the ninth house, then uh, that's another great auspicious sign. Um, in Vedic astrology, it is the luckiest house, or one of, um, and it's a very auspicious house known as the Dharma Bahava. Um, it's basically about broadening the mind and beliefs. Um, topics covered are religion, travel, higher education, law, lawmakers, pilgrimages, um, foreign country, mysticism, long journeys, politics and religious matters, as well as teaching and truth seeking and looking for higher meaning. It's about the higher mind. Um, so initially, when Saturn enters this house, you may experience some kind of crisis of faith. If you have, you know, lived your life as say a devout Christian or Catholic, maybe, you know, you come into this house and you have, um, and you have an expansion of the mind and, and change some of your beliefs um you might go on a on a journey um whether in self or you know out in the world to to find what your true beliefs are um you're going to expand your belief system um you may experience restrictions with travel um everyone's experiencing that right now we're in COVID times but uh you may you may also have um like something like an out of town boyfriend or a partner or family members from out of town that are restricted in seeing you. Um, you're restricted in going to see them, things like that. You're restricted from taking trips. And if you do have a trip, the best thing that you could be doing is something of a spiritual nature, a pilgrimage um, that may work out better than, you know, planning something like just a Mexican holiday to sit, uh, sit by poolside and, um, it's a very deep, profound um, house for expanding our mind. So um, that's what Saturn's trying to show us here. Higher education, um, yeah, you may start a new course of study. You may all of a sudden decide to totally shift your trajectory of your career. Um, you may meet a fantastic teacher. If you do, he may be Saturnian in nature, you know, boundaries, maybe strict. Uh, serious but a fantastic teacher that um, you walk away from learning so much um, uh, you may like if you've put off getting your master degree master's degree you may end up going back and getting it at this time you may expand whatever uh, work environment you're in you may just expand your knowledge within that um, but seeking higher education is a very common theme um, law you may find yourself in a lawsuit um, filing a lawsuit, somehow to do with law, courts, um, stuff like that. So this, I would suggest this is a good time to make sure that um, all of your um, certifications are up to date so that you don't find yourself in a situation where someone can, you know, uh, have a lawsuit against you, right? So make sure that's all, all in place. Um, you may learn law or learn, you know, just, just, be, just be very drawn to law and hand in hand with politics exact same there you may want to learn all about politics you may um, want to expand your views on that you may um yeah you may want to really dig deep into into all like all sorts of things to do with politics um which is fascinating right um teaching you may you know the student may become the teacher right you may all of a sudden you know see you find yourself in a position of teaching um maybe on youtube maybe you know, maybe in school, maybe, you know, something where you're, you, you're spreading your knowledge and helping others expand their mind. 
it's really a blessed house um, preceding the 8th. It's, um, you know, I feel like it's a time of, uh, you know, we've gone through such a hard, like, uh, rebirth process that this is kind of a lightning stage, a lightening up. Um, the ninth house is preparing us for the 10th. And the ninth house is, is really about like that, the broadening of the mind and the education and, and growth. And a lot of times that can key into the career. So right now you might be going through a stage for the next two and a half years where you're learning something brand new or, or expanding on what you already know so that you can take that into your new career path or so that you can rise to the, cause the 10th is the top of your chart so that you can rise to the top, right? Um, yeah, school and matters, you know, matters pertaining to religion and, and the higher mind and, and politics and, and also um, mysticism as well. These are gonna all become very serious in nature to you. So um, very structured and serious you could find yourself studying astrology or studying any type of mysticism. So, um, yeah, it's a very, very auspicious, um, beautiful house. Uh, it is one of Saturn's easier, easier transits. So, you know, blessings. <laughs> so you get a little lighten up and, um, you know, good luck with it. Okay. Take care.